I was thinking to use a helmet lock for a long time but I could not find a good one and so I keep searching and then finally I realized um, now it is very important to have one because sometime I go on a trip I have two different helmets one that I use for just day-to-day -day work or life purpose and another one the better one that I use for longer trips sometime maybe touring with my friends and that time what we what it happens that uh, we sometime uh, keep the helmets on bike and maybe go a bit far and that time it is a bit difficult you know like in terms of security it is not good just put your helmet and go away so i was searching for a better helmet lock uh, for ktm rc390 and finally i found this product on aliexpress it cost around 2000 yen japanese yen and I believe uh, it is a good one. So I cannot tell you confidently that uh, I mean how stable it is or how secure it is. Uh, looks good so far. And let's try to install it. To install this lock, it is mounted on the rear footrest of the pillion so the footrest is connected to the chassis of the bike and so we need to first unbolt uh, this footrest and use this mount to attach the lock and then it, it is uh, i believe a secured way to keep the helmet i believe even though uh, in shorter distance i believe we can uh, ride the bike with the additional helmet hanging in this place so i'm trying different kind of tools here i first tried with the bike one provided uh, then i could not find the six millimeter one these are l keys so you cannot find the l key for the six millimeter then i use my toolbox one but since the bolt is very tight it is very difficult to unbolt and take it out then i try to arrange different tools together uh, finally this is a way out okay so finally it is coming out so i believe uh, we, i will be able to attach the lock conveniently in this mount uh, let's try and uh, this lock especially you can it comes with a fixed default pin uh, which is triple zero but once installed you can update the number as much as you want
let's try this way but looks like uh, we need to do the opposite way so it's better to make sure uh, before tightening up the bolt and it is um, positioned properly so sometimes happens what like also happened to me several times we try different parts and then do some r d and after tightening up the bolts and look then um, sometime it found out that this is not the right place or it is rightly mounted then just undo the bolts and redo the whole process which is troublesome so i'm trying to uh, change the default lock here there is a point where we need to press through something sharp like a pen uh, since i don't have a pen with me now uh, i'm using one of my sharp tools when i press it from the front side you will be able to change the number and then you put it in the normal mode and automatically the number got changed now let's take the foot rest um, on its position and before putting everything just try to make sure that you are doing it correctly otherwise uh, it, it, you might need to redo the whole work also please make sure you are not over tightening the bolts otherwise uh, you may uh, damage the bolt or if the chassis part uh, that is connected the bolt mount can be damaged as well uh, so my suggestion is it's not necessary to like over tighten or something yeah, better to use a torque wrench but since i don't have one so i'm using my regular one i hope this will help you to install your rocket lock by yourself thank you for watching